in order to answer this question i actually had to go back and watch an introduction to quadratic sequences that i had made in the past right but then don't worry about it i'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description so that you can understand some of the things i'm gonna be doing in this question right so it is saying that a quadratic sequence has the following properties the second difference is 10. The first two terms are equal to each other, right? That is T1 is equal to T2. And then T1 plus T2 plus T3 will give you 28, all right? And then the first equation, 3.1 is saying, let's show that the general term of the sequence is Tn is equal to 5n squared minus 15n plus 16. Right, so we're given the second difference, it is C to be equals to 10, right? So that is a good start. Why am I saying that? We know fully well that uh, 2A, 2A is equals to the second difference. 2A is equals to the second difference. Why is that important to us? Uh, under normal circumstances, a quadratic sequence has the following format, Tn, is equals to a n squared plus b n plus c so essentially what we're trying to do we're trying to find the value of a the value of b and the value of c if we do that then we are supposed to have 5 n squared minus 15 n plus 16 right so we have said that 2 a is equal to the second difference how much is the second difference uh, that is 10 right so it should be easy to see here that a is equal to 5 and just like that uh, we already have 5 which is part of what we're trying to prove right so we are sort of convinced that we are on the correct route right and then the other thing we know about our quadratic sequences is that 3a plus b is equal to t2 minus t1 right and then we have established what a is equal to so we have 3 multiply by 5 plus b being equals to 0. Why are we saying t2 minus t1 is equals to 0? That is because we are told that t1 is equals to t2, right? So t2 minus t1 should be equals to 0. And then from there on, we're going to have b being equals to minus 15. We're just taking this term to the right hand side and then that is exactly what we have in our equation minus 15. so what is left what more do we need to do we just need to find the value of c right which is going to be a bit tricky but we're going to use uh, the third bullet point that says t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 28 so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so we have t1 plus t2 plus t3 being equals to 28 right so t1 of a quadratic sequence will be equals to a plus b plus c right that is t1 you can see why that is the case from the introduction video i'm talking about which i'm gonna leave in the comment so you should probably watch it and then plus t2 t2 is gonna be 4a plus 2b plus c if you cannot see what is going on it's probably time you go and actually watch that video and then t3 we're gonna have 9a plus 3b plus c being equals to 28 right so what is the value of a a is 5 so we're gonna have 5 plus b which is minus 15 right so we're gonna have 5 minus 15 plus c right that is for t1 and then for t2 we're gonna have a is 5 so 4 multiplied by 5 uh, that is 20 and then b is minus 15 right so 2 multiplied by minus 15 so 20 minus 30 plus c and then plus now we at t3 right 9 multiplied by so now we have 9 multiplied by a which is equals to 5 so we're gonna get 45 and then plus 
uh, 3 multiplied by b so that is 3 multiplied by minus 15 which is minus 45 right and then plus uh, plus c plus c is equals to 28 so let's see we have plus c plus c plus c so we're supposed to have 3c now we just need to add all the other constants right and when we do that we get uh, minus we get minus 20 right and this is equals to 28 so we're gonna have 3c being equals to 28 plus 20 which is 48 and then we divide by 3 on both sides to get c is equals to positive 16 right so we have reduced that a is equals to 5 b is equals to minus 15 and c is equals to uh 16 right so we have tn being equals to 5 n squared minus 15 n plus 16 which is what we are required to prove so we we good to go now let's do 3.2 uh, so 3.2 uh, the question is saying that is 216 a term in this sequence justify your answer with the necessary calculations right so again we know that tn is equals to 5n squared minus 15n plus 16 let's see if 216 is a term in this sequence so in place of tn we're going to put 216 this will be equals to 5n squared minus 15 and plus 16 right so if we can solve here and get a value of n which is the whole number then 216 is a term in this sequence right so if we take uh, 216 to the other side we're gonna have 5n squared minus 15 and minus 15 and not 18 and minus 15 and uh, then plus 16 minus 216 that will be minus 200 being equal to zero right as easy to see here that we can take a common factor of five real quick and then divide both sides by five to get n squared minus three and minus 50 being equals to zero right so let's go ahead and try and factorize this so we're gonna have n another bracket we have n being equals to zero we are not able to factorize this without using the quadratic formula and as a consequence 216 is not a term in this sequence